Good morning, my dear friend. I hope you're well today. It is a sunny Tuesday morning. We have a lot to be thankful for, so we should give thanks. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 62. And in verse 1 it says, For Zion's sake I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet. Quiet until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a burning torch. The nation shall see your righteousness and all the kings your glory. And you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Verse 4. You shall no more be termed forsaken, and your land shall no more be termed desolate. Now, in Scripture, a desolate land is considered a land that is forsaken, forgotten, could even say in one way cursed. And the Lord is saying He's going to bring His promises once again. He's going to bring His salvation, and we will no longer be desolate. Now, that happened with the coming of Christ. He brought life to a dry and thirsty land. The Lord wants that to also happen in our life now. As the Holy Spirit moves in us, may we no longer be desolate, but see His victory come. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today thankful for your faithfulness. Lord, we just ask that we would no longer be desolate. That as your presence comes in our life, Lord, that you would remove the desolation. Lord, that uh, we would spring forth new life, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.